a good take, Ed. We're, I'm going to print that, but let's do it again. The Abyss was a tough shoot on a lot of levels. It was physically very exhausting. Heavy helmets, heavy backpacks, heavy weights. Just saying, if I get down there and I can't yeah. stand up, if I got to stay like a hunchback. Ed's the kind of guy that puts himself under a lot of pressure. So we're under physical pressure, we're under actual water pressure, right? And dealing with that. And he put himself under so much pressure to be the best that he could be for the film, for his character. And I think it took its toll on him. I think it all added up to a little more than he had expected. There's stories of him going back to like the, the changing room and like punching his fist through the wall and that sort of thing. I mean, I have a, a reputation as a perfectionist, so when people hear I'm doing a lot of takes, they just take that as a given, right? Action. But I'd usually get to about take six or seven and be pretty happy with what Ed had done, and he'd want another take, and he'd want another take. Ed, I got it, but Ed didn't feel like he had it. And he'd just keep going, and he'd keep going. And I could already see that he'd peaked and he had it four takes back or whatever. And, and then and then I'd finally, I'd just say, okay, we're moving on. You know, in a way, it's a tribute to his process. He's so good in the film. It was certainly, I think, worth it. Fake!